Are you always worried that other people are judging you when you're out and about? It's normal to feel slightly anxious or uncomfortable when you're hanging out with coworkers or people you've never met before. However, when your anxiety from being in social settings becomes so overwhelming or even debilitating that it starts affecting your daily life, it may be a sign of social anxiety. The symptoms can vary from sweating and trembling to experiencing nausea and dizziness. Severe social anxiety can even cause some to avoid social situations or going out altogether. So, to help you out, here are six ways to overcome social anxiety. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have social anxiety or any mental health condition, we highly advise you seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Let's begin. Number one, create awareness. Do you feel overwhelmed by the thoughts in your head? Sometimes when you're out at a social event, you may feel like everybody is judging you or how you look or how you behave. But more often than not, these negative thoughts are untrue and may actually stem from your own insecurities and criticism of yourself. By creating a habit of becoming more mindful and aware of where your thoughts are coming from, you can start to notice the triggers that cause your social anxiety to worsen and challenge and disarm these intrusive thoughts. Number two, engage in relaxation techniques. Are there things you do when you find yourself feeling anxious? If not, you can practice some relaxing techniques since they can be incredibly helpful, especially when your anxiety becomes overwhelming. One strategy is diaphragmic breathing, also known as deep breathing. Deep breathing engages the diaphragm and allows you to take in more air. Notice how your stomach rises and falls with each breath. Engaging in relaxation techniques can help you better prepare for moments of extreme anxiety. However, you should note that these techniques are not meant to substitute treatment for an anxiety disorder. Number three, try yoga. Have you ever tried yoga? While it may seem cliche, yoga can be quite useful in combating anxiety. Because social anxiety involves cognitive, physical, emotional, and habitual sensations, yoga can help you relax and refocus your mind and body. Practicing different types of yoga poses can help you reduce your anxiety by engaging your mind and shifting your focus away from the overwhelming and negative thoughts in your head and into the exercises you're doing instead. Number four, set goals. Are you trying to work on your anxiety on your own? If so, it's important to remember to set some goals. Having goals will help you figure out where you wanna go and guide you on how to get there. But it's essential that these goals are realistic and quantifiable, so you'll be motivated to continue making progress. There are some online quizzes that can help you gauge your degree of anxiety. These can help give you something to work towards. When you meet one of your goals, remember to also celebrate and reward yourself for them. Number five, make something. Do you enjoy painting or journaling? Art therapy can be a beneficial way of reducing social anxiety. Since social anxiety often stems from the fear of being judged, it can end up creating a need for perfectionism in yourself. Engaging in art therapy can be a way to help you accept your imperfections and even make something beautiful out of them. Additionally, social anxiety is regulated in the amygdala, an area responsible for emotions and sensory input from your environment. In this sense, art therapy can be a way for you to illustrate what you're feeling without needing to find the words for it. And number six, therapy. Have you ever tried going to therapy? There are many types of treatments that could work for anxiety. The most common is cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT. It's a technique often used to address many mental health conditions like depression, PTSD, and anxiety. CBT helps you identify your negative thought patterns and gives you the tools to change them. Another technique is systematic guided exposure. This involves slowly exposing yourself to scary or anxiety inducing things until you're not so scared anymore. It's a way of taking baby steps to overcome your anxiety. With the right guidance and support, you can slowly overcome your social anxiety.